It's sad when you go to a store and you forget what you're looking for and then you purchase so many other things and it wasn't even what you wanted. That's when you know you have problems. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a quick little haul that I did over the last maybe two, three weeks and some quick stuff that I got over Christmas um, just as somewhat of a a quick warning a lot of this stuff wasn't purchased all in one shopping day it was all purchased in accumulation of shopping days or shopping trips to say it in better words um some of the stuff was given to me during christmas and some of it was purchased with gift cards so i don't mean to brag um i am not trying to show off those are not my intentions the only reason i'm trying to do this video is to show some products that I have purchased, some products that I would personally recommend that have been working for me and my skin type, and pretty much things I have been liking. So if you don't like these videos, just go ahead and stop watching now. And if you do, then let's get right into it. So for starters, um, some of the few things that I did get over Christmas, because I think that's what I'm going to start with, are actually a couple of palettes. I got the Kat Von D... I don't even know what it's called, but it's the butterfly palette. I'm just gonna call it the butterfly palette. Either way, it's a really pretty palette. The colors are somewhat neutral. You could go more neutral here, more pops of color over here. I have used this um, on a tutorial. I have yet to post it. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this one, but um, the colors are very pigmented. It is affordable, I believe it's $50. It was given to me as a gift, but so far I'm loving it. I would recommend it. The, the palette is very versatile. So you could go from, like I said, something very neutral to more pops of color or even like mix these two. The colors up on top are more of um, highlight colors. Let me swatch them for you. That's what they look like right there. More like highlighters. You could put them in your inner duct or you could put them up in your brow bone or even a little bit on the lid like I did today. I didn't use this palette though. I used a different one that I'll get to it in a little bit. But um, yeah, this palette's really good so I recommend. The next one I got is the Makeup Forever... It says in the back it's the Artist Palette. I could be wrong about the name. This is what the packaging looks like. And in the back there is a code. I hope the camera is picking it up. There is a code on there if you were interested in purchasing it yourself. I'm not sure if that code is corresponding to the number of the palette or the name of the palette. I'm not quite sure. But this is what the palette looks like. These are more glimmer, more shimmery, more frosted colors. Um, but they're still just as pigmented, very beautiful not your average everyday colors of course but if you are that person who likes to add a little bit of pop of color to your bottom lash line or even to your entire eyelid this is a very very good palette so on to just this beautiful 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 palette that i was able to finally get my hands on i went to one sephora then i went to ulta then i went to the other sephora i didn't go to ulta my my husband called to ulta but it wasn't there but either way, finally got it. It is a Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Palette. And oh my goodness, let me tell you, it is just beautiful. The colors are, oh, they're so pretty. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Just, just look at it. Just take a minute. Soak it all in. I do have the first chocolate bar palette that they came out with. It's just as beautiful. I have yet to reach pan on any of the shadows because really, it's gonna be impossible for me to reach pan on any of these colors. I'm not gonna wear all of them in one single day. The packaging is a little bit slimmer, which I'm sure you've noticed if you've watched any other videos on YouTube. One thing I do like more about this one is that they took a little bit more time to pretty much just organize and decide how they were going to do the packaging because the first one doesn't have the names of the shadows on the palette as you can see like um like on top of the shadows or anywhere on there it doesn't have no names so if i ever wanted to do a tutorial and i wanted to know exactly what shadow i was using i would either have to go online and use a picture as reference as opposed to this one i could just pretty much just get it from there it has the names on there i don't have to worry about making sure that i'm giving you the correct shade no name. This is a Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Palette, and I recommend it, or Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, but you know. This is the MAC Objects of Affection Pink and Rose Pigments and Glitter. The packaging is just adorable. The colors inside are just, just as pretty. And one of my favorite shades is called the, which one was it? I think it's this one right here. Yeah, it's Rose. 
I love the really rose gold colors. I think they're very earthy in a, in a way. So I really like how that complements my skin tone. And so far, this is probably my favorite one in the whole, pretty much the whole little gift set. And this was given to me as a gift, and it is the MAC Objects of Affection Pink and Rose Pigments and Glitters. And I do think they have different colors, and I have seen more of these. And now, I'm going to move on to lips, because... Boy, have I gone on a rampage of buying lipsticks. So for starters, I went, I got a gift card for Christmas, a little Sephora gift card, and I wanted to, I, I wasn't sure what to buy. So what I did, I have been hearing really good things about the Bite Cosmetics, what is it, the Agave Lip Mask. I do tend to have very chapped lips, so I wanted to get something that was more nourishing to my lips to make sure that when I do apply matte lipsticks, that it stays on all day and doesn't flake or run. So this is the Agave um, by Lip Mask. And then this over here is the Lip Exfoliator. I tried them two nights already and it does leave my lips very moi- um, what's the word? Moisturized? Yeah, very moisturized. So corresponding to what the packaging says, I believe you're supposed to use them together. So first you're supposed to exfoliate them and then you're supposed to put the Agave Mask. I did purchase Three Anastasia Beverly Hills, so what is it called? The liquid, the liquid lipstick. I only picked up three and I regret it. I I regret it so bad because now I'm gonna have to pay shipping and handling once again because I want more. So the ones I was able to pick up are these three right here. This one is lovely. This one is Sad Girl, and then this one is Vamp. The one I'm wearing today is Vamp, and I just love how it complements my skin tone. I think this will look really, really good on any skin tone, but I think on me, me because I am a little bit more brown biscuit, it's just so gorgeous. Ugh. Let me swatch them for you because one thing is for me to speak of them, and another thing is for you to see them. Those are them right there. This one right here is lovely. The one in the middle is Sad Girl, and the one to your left or my right, whatever. This one right here is Vamp. They're so pretty. The lasting power of them is so long. Right? These are gorgeous. These are, I believe, $20 each. But if you do sign up for their newsletter, which I did, you get 10% off your purchase. And I think Anastasia Beverly Hills is um, spend over 25 get free shipping. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So um, I was able to get two Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks as well. Merlin and Vampira. So these two right here. This one right here is Vampira and this one is Lol um. I was going to say Lolita. Um, this one right here is Berlin. They're so gorgeous. They are um, liquid to matte lipsticks as well. So these are the swatches right here. This right here is Vampira. And this one over here is Berlin. Lasting Power is phenomenal once again. And I recommend them. So those are the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I made a little trip to um, Ulta. I ended up walking out with the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama. That's that one right there. This is called Alabama. It is a matte lipstick. It's not as as long lasting as the Kat Von D or the Anastasia. I have been wanting to try the OCC Lip Tarts, um, or in other words, Obsessive Compulsive, Cosm Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. They came in a little package like this. I came with three lip tars. The colors are nylon, trollop, and harlot. I really didn't care for what is it? Nylon? Yeah, it was nylon. I really didn't like it. I felt like it was too too like Barbie pink for me at least. Um I I felt like it was it was just too bright, so I ended up giving that one away. But the ones I did end up keeping are trollop and harlot. And it says here, I think the intentions of these are that you can mix them and create your own little lipstick or a little combo that you would like. I don't think I would ever mix these because these colors by themselves are just so pretty. This right here is Harlop and this one over here, no, I'm sorry. This is Troll Up and this is Harlot. Something else I purchased while I was at Ulta is this glitter liquid eyeliner set. And the colors are... Just basic, very basic colors. My intentions though are for me to use these under maybe just um, do like a really nice neutral crease and then just apply this onto the eyelid and just put either more glitter on there or just leave them as is. Something else I bought was this NYX liquid clister, clister, <laughs> um, NYX liquid crystal liner and it is in the color crystal gunmetal. It's very, I just think it's so pretty. I am planning on wearing that. It's I'm not, I'm, I really hope the camera's picking it up. It's that one right there. Another thing I purchased was the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I had been meaning to try this before, 
but um because i had tried mac before and the times i had used it it would always break me out i was like i was kind of skeptical but i just ended up giving in so i purchased the nw20 and basically it's just the concealer the pro longwear concealer so far i like it um i don't use it much to cover my under circles because personally i don't think i have any at least not yet I use it more to brighten my under eye area so far, that's what I'm using it for and I like it so this is a go for me so far. Another thing I purchased is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free Pore Minimizing mainly because I do have very large pores this really dimin diminishes the appearance of them so I really like it it has no silicone feel to it at least I don't think so it almost feels like the professional. I really love the professional it's a very 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 good primer but I think so far I'm starting to like this one a little bit more it's the same consistency another thing I got is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I do have the Too Faced but I like the Too Faced but because I do have very oily skin my eyelids are just as oily so I wanted to try something that was gonna have more lasting power more holding power for my eyeshadow and this has done the job so <sighs> Oh, let me take a breather. These are so many things. I went to Walgreens a couple of weeks ago and I was looking through the little samples because, not the samples, like the displays because right after Christmas, everybody knows these drugstore companies come out with just these beautiful, beautiful products. And this is one product that I had never heard about. It is the, what is it? The Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade 2. Originally, I thought this was just a finishing powder for anybody, but... When I started looking at the display that they had there, by the looks of it, it looks like it is for women or men, whoever, of color. So obviously this is not my shade. This is a little bit too dark for me. But what I use this instead for is I use it for bronzer or, um, what is it? Contour. So far I'm really liking this. The, the consistency of the product is very powdery. So I really like that because it, I am oily so it stays on my face. It doesn't look too like muddy at least. So this is a really good product and I think it's only like $7. And considering how much product you're getting here, you're getting, what is it, 0.46 ounces or 13 grams. It's just amazing. So this is really good. Another thing I got is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder Matte and Poreless um, Powder in the shade 310. And the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation Normal to Oily also in the shade 310. So these two combos are really amazing. Like I said before, I have really large pores and I am very oily. So when I apply my foundation, I want to make sure that I'm matte as possible. So far, these two do the job together. I got to catch my breath because these are so many things. But so far, this is everything I purchased. This is my mini or mega haul, I guess. And it is Sephora, Ulta, and the drugstore mainly. Not actually mainly Sephora, but um, I really hope you liked this video and if you do, let me know. I want to know if you guys want to see more haul videos, if this is what you're interested in. And if so, go ahead and like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And yeah, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.